Hello, everybody. This is Tim Woods with the Thunderbirds. I was the 2020 Waste Management Phoenix Open Tournament Chairman, and we are uh, back in the community. Um, and we're visiting now uh, with Brent Downs, Executive Director of St. Joseph the Worker. How's it going, Brent? Going good, Tim. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Good, good. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. The Thunderbirds are uh, staunch supporters uh, of your organization and, and uh, the, the great work that you do uh, within the community. So why don't we start there? Why don't you just kind of give us a, a 101 of, of, uh, of what St. Joseph the Worker does uh, and how it impacts our community? Oh, thanks, Tim. We're a 31-year-old Valley-based nonprofit that does one thing. We connect clients with employment. And then we try to remove every barrier a client needs to going back to work. So if it's tools, if it's bus passes, if it's transportation, certifications, whatever those things are that someone needs to start work right now, we provide all those things. And we've done that here in the Valley for over 5,000 people a year for the last four years since the Thunderbirds have been supporting us. So we're so blessed to have the support because we're a community-based organization that's supported by the community. When one out of every six Americans are out of work, St. Joseph the Workers needed more than ever. Well, you're obviously very passionate about it. How, tell us how you got connected with St. Joseph the Worker. I came to work at St. Joseph the Worker eight years ago when I became executive director. But for me, my story is more than that. Because having been someone that experienced homelessness, I have a hands-on experience with what our clients go through every day. And one of the big things we do here at St. Joseph the Worker, it's our only reason to exist, is we ring that bell. And when that bell rings, that means a client got a job. And so I go out and I introduce them, myself to them, and I tell them how wonderful and grateful it is to have them as part of the St. Joseph the Worker family and to support them as they walk through this journey. Because once a client, always a client at St. Joseph the Worker. Very cool. I love the bell story. It gave me chills. Um, it's a very uh, unique way to celebrate, and I'm sure that's a, a wonderful sound um, when that uh, when that bell is uh, is rung. So, um, you know, obviously, you know, things have changed for all of us uh, in the last 30, 45 days, uh, pretty drastically. How have you been able to kind of pivot um, and and you know stay relevant and stay there for uh, for the, the the folks in need um, and and continue you know uh, serving and and um, distributing your programs uh, and making a difference? You know, Tim, we're so blessed with the staff that we have at St. Joseph the Worker. They've made the commitment for us to stay open during these times and throughout this crisis. We've met clients. We meet with them now on a more virtual basis when needed, but we also have offices open for our clients to come into so we can meet with them one-on-one -on -one and help them with their resumes, give them some direction so they're not wandering around going to 50 different places amidst, amidst the COVID trying to find a job. All right, so, so Brent, uh, if, I, if I show up at St. Joseph the Worker, what, what kind of immediate um, you know, resources uh, would be available to me and, and you know, maybe take me through some of the, you know, some of the details on, on what that process looks like, um, you know, kind of from, from me knocking on the door to, uh, to you ringing the bell? Okay, well, what we do is when a client comes in, we'll sit down with them and we'll do an assessment, talk about what their background is, what kind of employment they've done, do a resume and kind of work through some of that. And then we'll look at who's hiring and kind of guide that client to, to the employer. But before that, you know, to, to go do an interview, you gotta look sharp. And so we're blessed to have a wonderful clothing closet and now a men's boutique where we dress our clients up for success. So we'll get a nice suit of clothes on the client. So when they go to that interview, they feel really good about themselves and really prepare our clients to go into that interview and sell themselves. You know, whatever it is that you need to get to work that first day, we're gonna provide it for you. Well, outstanding, and you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's some of those things I think that, that folks take for granted um, that you're able to, to provide and, and get down into the details and, and uh, um, you know, have resources for. So we thank you uh, uh, for that, for sure. We as the Thunderbirds and, and we as a community obviously support this effort. Um, how can I make an immediate impact for you, uh, for the organization and for the, for the clientele that you're serving? What are you looking for? And, and if you could snap your fingers uh, and, and have, you know, have some help from the community, what would that look like? You know, Tim, right now it's a real challenge for us from a funding standpoint. 
but we want people to know that we're still here and we'll, we're still working and we sure could use your support. And so St. Joseph's the Worker could use that hand up for our organization so we can provide that hand up to our clients. And one of the big things I really like for people to do is tell your friends about us. You know, I tell people every day, we're the most impactful organization you've never heard of. <laughs> and so for us, it's getting the word out. And we love our clients and we support our community and we meet people where they're at. And we need people to tell that story. Well, super impressive. And, and we love, uh, we love uh, you know, the lean and meanness of the organization. And obviously, we can see your passion. We appreciate your work. Is there anything else that, uh, that you want uh, the Thunderbirds to know um, about, uh, about the organization or what you need or where you're going? You know, I'd just like to express my deep gratitude for the Thunderbirds. Because this organization has benefited so much from not only the financial support, but all of the moral support and the push and all the other exponential ways that you guys have supported us and helped us really get our name out in the community. So words can't express our gratitude for that. Well, thanks a bunch, Brent. And there's more where that came from. You guys are a wonderful partner and do uh, wonderful things. Uh, we're thrilled. And uh, I appreciate personally uh, your time today. And, uh, and with that, I would just say uh, stay healthy and, and uh, good luck with everything. Thanks, Tim. You too. And we appreciate you and have right. a wonderful day. Take care.